Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Clara aka My Sweet DIY. Today's tutorial is something super fun, mixing crochet with beads. The possibilities are endless. We're starting with a bracelet or anklet, but when you add beads, it could be the beginning of a garment, cushion, curtains, you name it. That's the beauty of beading with crochet. I hope you enjoy it. Please comment if you wanna see a full garment made out of beads. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. To add the beads to the thread, just burn the tip with a lighter to make it easier for the thread to go through and add as many beads as you want for your project. Here I'm adding about 40. And here you have to leave a tail for about 8 inches and then you're gonna make a slip knot. Now we're gonna chain 3. When you need a bead, slide it up the strand towards the back of your work so it's ready to place it at the right part of the stitch. And here I'm gonna yarn over and pull through. Now I'm gonna chain one and chain two. I'm, I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna add again more beads. And here I'm gonna repeat, I'm gonna yarn over, pull through, and now I'm gonna chain one and chain two. And here the pattern will repeat across until you reach the desired length. In this example, it's a total of six inches. And here, I'm at the end of the row, I'm gonna chain one, turn my work, and I will start making a half double crochet in each chain across until the end and I'll meet you right at the end. Here, at the end of the row, chain one, turn your work, and for the third row, single crochet in each stitch across. And we are done. We have a cute and clad or bracelet, but this can be the beginning of a garment. You could make a bikini, curtains, the possibilities are endless. Now we're going to fasten off and leave a tail the same as we did at the beginning, about 8 inches. We have to make a sliding knot here. So we pull the left thread on top of the right thread. And with the top cord, we wrap it around our finger to create one loop and we bring it around again two or three more times towards the left and then we remove those loops from our finger 
and then we pull the tail through those loops and pull the tail tight and you should have here a sliding knot. That's all for today. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what projects you want to see next. And if you like this tutorial, consider subscribing to support my channel. See you guys soon. Bye.